This is what you come to South Texas for. I'm gonna shoot him right there. You ready? I'm Jeremy Atkins, and welcome to Big and Jay's The Giving Right. Brought to you by Bone Collector with my little buddy, Kenna Lee. They say that everything in Texas is always bigger. So let's hope that this week holds true. We're heading to hunt with my buddy Hayden at South Texas Hunting Outfitters, and he tells me that he's got a target-rich environment. How's it going? Good, how you guys? Good, good. Oh. We had deer camp. Kenneth Lancaster. Travis Harper, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Travis. Right. Good, man, good. Y'all have a nice trip? Oh yeah, it wasn't bad at all. Where bad come from? Yeah, when I went to bed last night in Victoria, it was 83. I woke up this morning, it was 33. Yep, yep. Oh, uh, 50 degree swing. Welcome to the desert. Hey, <laughs> looks like deer country to me. It is. I know. Oh, yeah. You know, you wouldn't think they could live in it, but yep. it'll grow them big. Oh yeah. It's just our simple deer camp. Where we, yeah. Our little humble abode. We got a roof, we got a fire pit. And what else you need? A walking cooler. That's I it. mean, what else you need? That's yeah. it. We think I ought to shoot 6.5 or my 300 this afternoon. 300. Right. Have you seen these? Hmm. Let me show you something. You're going to like it. Uh, we may have to go to the store and buy some more bullets. Some I don't know if I brought up. enough. I'll show you real quick how cool it is, what, what all you can do with it. It's more of a hunting bipod than it is like yeah. a... Right yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. See, you got it right there. Take this right here. Pull it out right there. Goes into there. Now you got two different modes. You got that's the loose mode, and you press a button here, and you can lock them off right there. Now, if you if you got it locked off right there, you can still move back and forth a little bit with it. But if you take this and pull it out here, you can take this thing and go as low as you need to go with it. But this is a cool thing about it is a, a regular bipod, you know how it's rigid. It's right, like that. Yeah, so yeah. you would have to actually pick, like if you want to shoot pick over there, over there, there you have to, it. yeah. Well this one here, just move it. you just move the gun. Pretty cool. Whichever way you want it to go. And then if you need to get down lower, you just take that leg, go down lower with it. And then of course, you just take it it all collapses back down, and uh, it's but pretty slick. anyway, yeah, like pretty cool tool. We just rolled into camp, and Hayden told us, "Look, don't waste any time. Let's get dressed and get to the stand." And that's exactly what we did. All right, dude. Good luck. Good luck, man. Still big. We'll try. Grab a little big and J before we go. I'm gonna get a big one. You trying to hide? <laughs> the guide's going hunting this afternoon. And he's got bigger bags of BB squared than I do. Yeah. How you get that? And I got this. I know people. <laughs> <laughs> I know people. <laughs> oh, they over whispering. Whenever they whisper like that, it's never good. It's usually even worse if they go around back, like behind a woodpile, and start talking. Then it's, 
even worse. The Given Right is being brought to you by Nomad. I hunt, therefore I am. CVA, it's just a better gun. Hornady, accurate, deadly, dependable. Big and J, the aroma is super strong, the range is super long. Swagger, the bipod with moves. And Hoyt Archery, get serious, get Hoyt. This segment of The Given Right is being brought to you by Covert Scouting Cameras. See what you've been missing. Believe it or not, we're in South Texas and we're bundled up. It is, uh, in the high 30s with a, just a stiff 25 mile an hour wind. Makes it pretty doggone chilly. We, uh, we come in here this afternoon and um, we got our buddy back here, the ace number one guide that uh, has been scouting for us. And he went down this road right here and put out some BB squared for us. It's uncharacteristically cold down here, but hey, I like it. Um, I think it ought to make a deer move good. We already got one doe out that's in there already, so we got our fingers crossed. We're looking for either the big 10 or the big nine or another big 10 or a big eight or a big seven or a giant six. It don't matter to me, any of them do. Pretty dear. Big old nine point. Did I, did I hit him good? Our first afternoon set. And uh, ace number one guy out here brought us in here. <laughs> He'd been seeing this deer and been seeing uh, another 10 point in here. So we just shot the nine point. So uh, do we get to come back and look for a 10 point more? I think so. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. You know about where he was standing? Uh, yeah, I got a good idea. Okay. You got blood right there? Yeah, hold on. Oh, yeah. Right there. Who else is it? Oh, yeah. Right there. Right yep. Right there. He's laying right here. <laughs> hey, hey. Yeah. He's laying right here, bud. 
<laughs> I ain't even put my hands on it yet. I'm gonna wait till you get up here until I put my hands on it. That is fine right there, son. Beautiful deer. Wide, heavy, heavy. holds his mass all the way out. Man, is that not gorgeous? Then I looked up and looked down the road and that's what I was looking at right there. Just that, that sight right there. First afternoon, Chris Cobbett's coming in tonight. Chris, I hate it for you, Bubba. You should have been here tonight. Um, we might would have set you here, or might not. <laughs> oh man, he's exactly what uh, what we come in here to shoot. This segment of The Given Ride is being brought to you by Rambo Bikes. Takes you places you've never been. And x -Stand Tree Stands. Rise with us. so much fun to come here and they absolutely love BB Square so we're gonna put plenty out for them this morning and hopefully that big 10 point will come in here and get him a bite. Sorry, you gotta watch that stud of a buck walk around. But down here, Hayden has a real strict management criteria, and that deer right there, just short a couple of birthdays. I'm seeing some rut activity this morning, bucks chasing does back and forth across these Senderos, so I'd be surprised if a big one didn't pop out at some point this morning. <laughs> Put my head down for five seconds, picked it back up, and there he was. Is that him? Yeah, that's him, that's him. You got him. You got him. Unbelievable. 
same exact stand we were in yesterday afternoon. And ace number one guy, you know that should be made, right? Yes, ace number one guy. <laughs> Man, I love this gun. This gun right here is my new friend. Well, let's get out and see if we can go put our hands on it. Do you know about where you're standing? Pretty close. Going straight here, he turned there. Oh, there he is, right there. <laughs> he didn't go far. Man, you're right. He does have a broken G2. Look at this thing. You know, I probably should have put Chris in that spot and let him shoot that deer. But hey, can you blame me? I don't know if he's gonna be happy or mad. I don't know. I shot one the day before he got here and I shot one the day he started hunting. So, what's happening, buddy? Congratulations, you guys. You're playing them. Congratulations, man. Thank you, man. What do you think about that? Look at the mass on this deer. Ain't that something? You know, Look at that. Everybody talks about South Texas and they're Finley and that's a not here. That's a big deer. I don't <laughs> care where you are. That's a good deer for anywhere. Well, you know, you can just go back to camp, and make lunch. I, I'm just gonna hang out. People don't believe. See this hat? See this? See this hat? I'm wearing this hat because it's like 35 degrees. It's, it's South Texas. It's crazy, isn't it? It's nuts. It's yeah. like I don't even know what to tell you. You know, we got the Nomad gear on. We have the the real cold weather. I mean, this is what I was wearing to hunt in Maine. You know, <laughs> he said, "Oh yeah, come come to South Texas. It'll be great. It's New Mexico. It'll be nice and warm." Yeah, this is what we're in. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, well, let's get him loaded in the truck. Go get some food. Let's do it. Where are we dragging him? <laughs> uh, right there at the tailgate. One of the questions that I get asked a lot is what powder and how much powder do I use in my muzzle loader? Well, that depends on the gun. Some guns are gonna like 90 grains, some guns like 100 grains, some like 120 grains, some like 150 grains. Just because a gun will shoot 150 grains of powder doesn't mean that it's gonna shoot the best groups with that amount of powder. So take your gun, experiment with it, shoot the different grains of powder and see how it shoots and see what kind of groups you can get with it. You got any more questions, hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. This segment of The Given Ride is being brought to you by Vans. If they make it, we got it. Now my hunt was over quick. I killed two bucks just right off the bat, but Chris's hunt, it's just starting to heat up. And right now, he's getting on some javelina. Hey, Chris, um, there's an eight point standing right behind the javelina. You want to shoot the javelina? You're gonna shoot the buck. Thank you very much. <laughs> awesome, man. <laughs> the Halloween curse is broken. <laughs> I can't say enough. I mean, this was a, a fun hunt, a little quick thing. You know, we just saw these things in the road. It's the first chance that I've really had a chance to use the Swagger bipod. Um, Aaron Kell is a good friend of mine, known him a long time, and he sent me one. He just told me and raved what a cool product is, and you know what? It worked. I mean, it was, wasn't ideal conditions. We ran on, 
we, we set up in this little, this isn't a Sendero, right? Sendero, yeah. This is a Sendero, <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. <laughs> and uh, so uh, sat, we were getting ready to shoot him, and of course a giant rack buck comes out who hasn't had the appropriate amount of birthdays, so he can't be shot. <laughs> So I said, well, he better plug his ears because he's about to see a javelina get shot. Yep. And uh, made a good shot on this guy. Now, Chris, he just shot his javelina. And y'all know me, I can kill one too. So I'm on the other side of the property and I'm on a stalk myself. Just had three javelinas walk out of the road right here. Try to sneak up here and get a shot. One just stepped out. I shot him in the ear. Oh. That little wildcat caliber, 257 Barts, just sold me right there. Look at that. Man, look at the teeth on that thing. Golly. Man, what a week. Or what, a, what a couple of days. Um, killed two nice bucks. Chris is still hunting. He's seeing a bunch of deer. And then come out this afternoon and shoot a javelina. So, I don't know what to say. I've had a really, really good time. Travis, thank you. Hayden, thank you. Appreciate everything. Can't wait till next December. Man, look at the teeth on that thing. Golly. Man, Texas was awesome. I filled both of my tags. I killed a javelina. Chris killed a javelina. And then, of all things, just like it always happens, we loaded up and left, and Chris's flight was later than ours. So he had one extra afternoon he could go. And what does he do? Kills a big deer without us having a camera on him. But hey, you got to take him home, buddy. Congratulations, Chris. The Given Ride has been brought to you by Realtree, Steerka, Dead Ringer, Lethal, Grizzly Coolers, Scent Crusher, Hoyt, Venter MSR Trailers, Bagara, The Bone Collector, and WinPro. Jeremy, did you hear about that big nine point I killed over this Kenneth, time? shut up and turn the camera on. <laughs> Golly.